but we're still not done. We've decided that this trans isomer has no optical isomers, but now we have to test whether the cis version has an optical isomer. Maybe the cis has an optical isomer. Well, again, I'll draw the mirror. Again, these look different, but are they really different? So the most clear rotation to make is to rotate this chlorine over here. You can try rotating this chlorine over here, because then they would, the chlorine would be in the right position. So I would be rotating 90 degrees around this axis. So when we do that rotation, who's going to be up here? Steel. And down here? N. Because the axis isn't changing. Who will be here? Steel. And how about here? N. This nitrogen rotated to here. And who's going to be here? N. Now do you see that these two nitrogens should still be bound? Mm -hmm. They were bound here, so they're bound here. It looks like they're much farther away here, but that's just a trick of perspective. They're still 90 degrees away from each other in both pictures. So these nitrogens are still bound to each other. And who ends up here? Yeah. Or, I'm sorry. This nitrogen got rotated up to here. And who should this nitrogen be bound to? Well, this nitrogen is bound to the bottom nitrogen. So you've got to be careful about who's bound to whom. So now both of the chlorines are in the right position. But is this picture identical to this picture? No, because of how the ends are bound. Because of the way the nitrogens are bound. The nitrogens are in the right place, but the bindings are in the wrong place. For example, this binding doesn't match this binding. Mm -hmm. So is it looking like these are identical or isomers? Isomers. It's looking like this does have an isomer, because it's looking like we can't rotate this right. to make it look like this. Now, unfortunately, we haven't quite proven this, because maybe there's another rotation we haven't tried yet. Oh, well, might as well finish this off. All right. All right, so what have we decided? We've pretty much proven that as long as this chlorine is pointing up, the pictures won't match. Mm -hmm. We've proven that as long as this chlorine is pointing up, we can't match the pictures. Uh, I'm going to erase this picture here now. There's only one more thing to try. The other thing to try is to see what happens if we put this chlorine on top. Maybe if we put this chlorine on top, then we could match them up. Those are the only two possibilities, right? Either this chlorine is on top or this one is on top. 
Now, this is pretty hard to see how to rotate this up here. Uh, but basically what you're doing now is you're going to remember that at first we rotated around this vertical axis. Now I'm going to rotate around this axis. Okay. If I rotate around this axis 90 degrees, the chlorine will be rotated up to here. Let's do that together. That's not, that's not that easy. Now notice that the things that are on the axis don't move. So these two nitrogens are not going to move because they're both on the axis. So let's do this together. We're rotating this chlorine up to here. So where is this chlorine going to end up? It's being rotated down to this wedge. It can't go into this because this isn't moving. And where is this nitrogen going to end up? On the, like, down here? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's getting rotated. This is getting rotated over to here. This is getting rotated down to here. And by the way, who is this nitrogen supposed to be bound to? This nitrogen is bound to this nitrogen, right? And this nitrogen isn't moving. So this bond should still exist. Oh, wow. The things on the axis don't move. Mm -hmm. So this thing on the axis doesn't move, but this nitrogen moved down to here. And where did this nitrogen go? to the dash. It didn't go here because this isn't moving, so it must have gone to here. And who should this be bound to? Well, this nitrogen was bound to this nitrogen on the wedge, and this nitrogen isn't moving, so it should still be bound to that nitrogen on the wedge. So that's how we would do this rotation to move the other chlorine into the top position. It helps to label what axis you're rotating around. This is a much harder axis because it's going into and out of the board than the earlier axis, but that was the only way to get this chlorine on top. Now these pictures still don't look the same, but we can still try to make it a better shot by rotating this chlorine over here. Then the two chlorines would be in the right positions. So we have to do one more rotation where now I can move this chlorine over here and see if they'll match once I do this. So I'm going to rotate now this chlorine over to here. 90 degrees. Now we're rotating around this axis again. So which way will you rotate? We're trying to get this picture to look like this picture. They don't look like similar yet, but we can give ourselves a better shot by moving this chlorine onto this dash. Then they would look more similar, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to rotate 90 degrees around this vertical axis. It's pretty easy to rotate around vertical axes. Now, if I put this chlorine over here, where is this nitrogen going to end up? Other side. On the left, on the dash. Yeah. This nitrogen is going to rotate over here. And who should that nitrogen be bound to? Well, that nitrogen was bound to the bottom nitrogen, and the bottom nitrogen isn't moving because it's on the axis. So these two should still be bound to each other. You can see why it's good not to write out the full structure for ethylene diamine here, because it would take too long to write that out each time. <laughs> this makes sense so far? We know these two atoms will be in the same place in this picture and in this picture because we're rotating around the vertical axis. Now, where did this nitrogen end up after the rotation? On the wedge. It ended up here. Yeah. And uh, where did this nitrogen end up? On the other one. On this one. Yeah. And they were bound in this picture, so they should be bound in this picture. It's impossible here, or it's hard to not get the lines to cross each other, so some of my lines are crossing other lines. <laughs> 